And here we are at the conclusion of Revenge of the Broad from Captain Marvel issue 49. And this is a variant cover, which I believe is based off a, a classic X-Men cover with Storm in this position. Um, I, I'll be honest, I would have to go double check that, but I feel like in my mind that's correct. Or it's from a scene where this sort of happens. Anyway, anyway, I love this cover. This cover's amazing. So the issue begins with a grief-stricken Carol Danvers, her friend Binary, she could not save her. She is dead, much to everybody's um, dismay and shock. Now, Jessica, in her grief, has uh, has learnt that she has been created as a sort of time bomb against the Kree, so that she could destroy the Kree. So this was part of the Broad Cream's plan to... Um, take superheroes, or mutants, whatever, and use their powers to go and annihilate other races that perhaps are a threat to them. So this is written by Kelly Thompson. The artist is Sergio Davila. Inkers is Sean Parsners and Roberto Poggi. I think that's how you pronounce it. I apologize. I always apologize because I always get names wrong. And color... Colorist is Cecile de la Cruz. So there we go. And this is the amazing cast in this issue. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's been a great, great cast. I would I would really love this team as a whole to have some sort of comic. I would love Kelly to perhaps lead in that hell because this has been such... I mean, I've deemed it an event for me because I've only come in to read this event, but I, I've deemed it as... The, the these characters she's done really well with and really understands them and can create something with this so anyway pretty much she uh she knows what's happened she's turned abroad she knows what happens and now she's turned abroad that she's going to destroy her however the hatchlings are starting to um seep out of the the various members who have been infected and she uses some of their powers just to sparingly kill the broad that infected them um, and then she tells them they need to get out. She gives Jessica the order, etc. Um, Jessica doesn't want to lose her, etc. And then she says, Rogue, get them out. So Rogue's probably a bit more objective and uh, sort of jumps to it. Um, Rogue then asks Kawan if uh, what Carol did actually did take effect, that the broad, um, that it was infecting them is gone etc and she confirms that is correct however they're about to have company that's right people from the spreads of x-men the x-men are right and this is where it starts feeling even more like an x book rather than a captain marvel book it's still a, still a captain marvel show but it feels like a great ensemble with the x-men coming in here etc and Forge points out that they have a problem. That is there some sort of reactor leak? And they soon learn that it is a uh, Carol, etc. Uh, and it was Kawan who sent the message to the X Men. That's over in the X books. In case you've missed that. So Cyclops is not prepared. He does his leader thing. He says, "Right, magic. Get Binary's body to the Thunderbird. X Men, let's go clean this up." And they are going to go and. Um, get Carol back. They are not just going, but they still have the problem of Carol starting to go into a Nova. And the concern is that she is going to go so Nova that she creates a black hole, which will suck them all in. So not realizing in her grief that she is so, so lost. Now, sort of since the beginning, we sort of, I've sort of had an inkling that this is where it would sort of lead to in terms of Rogue wanting to make up for the past and Gambit knows his wife, he senses it, he talks to her and she she's she's worried that it's gonna go wrong by what she is thinking in her head. And we will get back to that in a minute. We have this moment uh, between Spider-Woman and, oh my goodness, I forgot what she's called. Damn it. Damn it, bro. It's because, so, so some of these characters have had minor moments in this so hazmat so she's obviously a big part of captain marvel's thing but in terms of the storyline she's had a few moments 
great moments. And this is another one. She's struggling to get the armor off, uh, whereas Rogue just slid it off. And Spider Woman says she, you know, she reminds her um, that um, <clears throat> it uh, Rogue has superpowers, so she's super strength, etc. And you know, we get this moment where Hazmat is. She's tired of losing people. You know, she didn't even get to say goodbye. You know, which is is heartbreaking. So they arrive there. Nova has killed the queen. The X-Men get stuck into the broad. And Kawan is reaching out to Captain Marvel to say, you know, bring it in. She's not. She's not listening at all. You know, so um, Rogue uh, asks uh, Laura to borrow some of her powers. Um, and she says, does Gambit know what you're doing? She says, yeah, he knows what I'm doing. So, and they're, you know, they're just backwards for you. You're sure about this? And then we get this moment. We get this moment with Rogue. Um, going to see Captain Marvel. Talking this through, etc. And sharing the burden with her. Um, because binary, in, in Captain Marvel's grief over binary, she's lost control and... You know, we, we go back to this moment where Rogue stole her powers, her memories, and almost her life. And then, obviously, Carol went through hell, if I remember rightly. Um, I think she was ki kidnapping. It was, you know, it's horrendous. And eventually, she comes back to the the, the to recuperate with the X-Men later on. We see those issues um, before going off into space with the Star Jammers. So, um, it is a great moment for Rogue as a whole, I mean, this, this story goes back to, what, the early 80s, you know, that's, that's <laughs> almost 40 years ago, so that's how long this is, and even though they have had moments, and they've sort of moved on, this feels to me like the true moment of moving on, where she says that we can share this burden, I can siphon off this this power this grief etc and we can be safe again because carol doesn't know how to switch us off so and it's it's a great moment and then they're stabilized and they start coming down to earth etc to their friends who are pleased to see them and then there's just this moment again where um rogue f refers to during uh, the hellfire gala where phoenix wanted to atone what the the dark the, what the phoenix had done in her name, you know, even though it wasn't her, it was, she created her body, she, um, and obviously Jean had her memories. I touched on this in um, in my X-Men review as well, and this is very similar. It's Rogue had something, her biggest regret was always smaller and much more personal, and this is why she became such a great X-Men, because she went on this this journey of redemption. And, you know, and there has been moments where we've seen it where she's been able to use her powers without touching, etc. And stealing powers and so forth. But this is the moment where perhaps it's um, closure with, for both her and Carol Danvers in terms of this. And then Carol Danvers' last moment here is um, being on Planet Marvel, which they called it. <laughs> um, and the planet is uh, miraculous. Is where Marvel's sacrifice uh, to the Phoenix happened, and then that's where Binary came alive. I've never read that. I feel like I want to go read that. I need to go find that. Um, and that's how this ends. And it's a big finale. So the X Men part of the story ends, and uh, Kelly Thompson's uh, run on Captain Marvel actually ends with issue fifty. And this looks like an amazing cover, by the way. Um, I'm not gonna get it. Um, I do feel like I I would when when I get a chance I will go and read this run of Captain Marvel because I've highly really enjoyed it. It's been a really great, um, an amazing, interesting run. Even just the X Men part of it. So I'm sure the rest of it is pretty darn cool. So anyway, I hope you like my video. If you do, um, I really appreciate you supporting my channel by subscribing. Thank you everybody that is subscribed to my channel. You folks are amazing. Uh, make sure you look after yourself. Very important. And as always, embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.